Hi everyone, it's me Ru back again with the final episode of our basic series and today we shall be talking about protein, including a crowd favorite right now, rice water. When you're deep conditioning your hair, you're doing one of two things. You're either having a moisture treatment or a protein treatment. In order to have healthy hair, we need like a balance between the two. Protein treatments help strengthen your hair, add some shine and regulate how much moisture your hair is taking in and letting out. There are two kinds of protein treatments. We have hydrolyzed protein treatments and non-hydrolyzed protein treatments. Hydrolyzed protein treatments are also known as real protein treatments because the protein particles in these treatments can actually penetrate your hair and create temporary bonds with your hair shaft, actually having a long-term effect of the protein treatment. So keeping your hair stronger for longer, shinier for longer, and helping it retain moisture for longer. Examples of hydrolyzed protein are hydrolyzed wheat protein or hydrolyzed silk protein. Basically, it just has to have hydrolyzed something protein in it. Now on to non-hydrolyzed protein treatments. Now, the protein particles in these treatments are too big to actually penetrate your hair shaft and create these temporary bonds within your hair. So what they actually do is that they just coat your hair with this residue that is, does have protein and does create the temporary effect of having a real protein treatment. But it is just a residue that is on your hair strand, right? And when residue is on your hair, it tends to weigh it down, making your curls looser and making your hair appear longer, right? However, rice water use on your scalp is more likely to stimulate real hair growth because it does provide some nourishment to your scalp but you're more likely to get this hair growth because you're manipulating your scalp on a more consistent basis because you're on a challenge it's all about consistency so you could get the same amount of hair growth from rosemary water or mint water the reason why rice water is so popular is because there's this village nicknamed the long hair village where everybody has really really long hair right and one of the things they use in their hair routine is rice water but people fail to take into account genetics right as well as diets because it does matter more what you put into your body to build your hair because it's made in your body than what you put on top of your hair their hair care routines are also a cultural thing so they all come together and they routinely take care of their hair and there's all these ancient techniques passed down from generation to generation so they know how to take care of their hair so that's why they manage to retain so much length they also live in a very remote area where they have fresh air clean spring water and very active lifestyles so their health is overall most likely better than ours and so their hair is more likely to grow than ours so what we can learn from these women in the long hair village is apart from genetics a hair care routine is vital in order to reach your goals whether it's length, density or curl retention.